Previously, Bobby Fisherman successfully solved the two qualification puzzles from the mayor and advanced to the elimination round of the chess festival competition. This was the round where players were matched up head to head and only one of them moved on and the other player was eliminated. And here were the rules for this section of the competition. One of the two players was randomly selected as the person who creates the puzzles. The other person would have to solve their puzzles. Whoever created the puzzles would have three chances to stump the other player. If at any point one of those three puzzles stumped the other person, they would win and advance. However, if the person solving the puzzles solved all three correctly, then the person who created the puzzles would be eliminated. In this particular round, Bobby Fisherman found himself facing off against an octopus with sunglasses. And Bobby Fisherman was randomly selected to be the person to create the puzzles for their match. So the first puzzle that Bobby Fisherman came up with to challenge the octopus was the following. He presented this position to the octopus. He said, the white pawns are going forward. It's white to play. Is this a draw or is this a win for white? Before I tell you what the octopus said and what he thought through, if you would like to pause at home, what do you think the correct answer is? Well, if you had a chance to look at that, the first thing we need to understand here is that something obviously has to happen with a passed pawn and the bishop, but what exactly could it be? Well, if you just simply capture the pawn, this is not the correct move, and the rook simply takes, and yes, it almost looks like you maybe could do something here, but the rook can simply come down with check, you move, the rook comes behind, sacrifices for the pawn, and we get a draw. All right, so that's the first thing that the octopus analyzed. He was contemplating saying it might be a draw, but he needed to calculate this move first. And this was actually the best move for white. G7, trapping the rook here. Uh, of course, you can't take this or the pawn captures and gets a queen, and he's threatening to take your rook, so you have to play rook to G8. And now, if you would like to pause, how does white make progress in this position? If you had a chance to look at that, it's basically you have to bring your king forward because moving the bishop away doesn't help you. You lose your pawn. Obviously, the pawn is stuck. And of course, if you move this forward, well, then black just takes you and that doesn't help you either. So you have to bring your king forward. But black is also going to be rushing their king over here. And so you would get something like this. King comes up. Black's king goes back. King comes up. Black's king goes back. King comes up. Black's king goes back. King comes up. And here black has a very nice move because, by the way, I should mention, if black continues with this kind of game of running the kings, well, now you can play king to h6, take the pawn next move, and black is in trouble. They, they have no way to stop you from, from um, capturing the pawn, right? If they take here, you take with the bishop, and there's just nothing for black to do. But black has a very nice move here. Rook takes f8. And before I say anything else, if you would like to pause... What's the move for white in this position? Well, if you had a chance to look at that, hopefully you didn't say capture the rook because although that is the obvious move, it leads to a very simple draw for black. Black simply takes. Yes, you can come up and try to attack the pawn, but black simply sides the king over, defends, and black is just going to go back and forth. You can never make them leave and you have no way to capture the pawn. The best thing that you could do would be to push it and you just get a draw. So, if you can't take the rook, what could you possibly do in this position? And this is what the octopus noticed. They move king to h6. And it's an amazing move. The point is, we're not worried about taking the rook right now. We're going to do it later after we take this pawn. And, for example, if the rook moves back here, well, then you just get a queen. So, the rook can't do that. If black kind of wastes the move with the king, well, now we will take the rook and then get the pawn since we didn't have time to do that before. So the only thing for black to do is to move the rook to g8. But now we take the pawn attacking the rook. And you might say, well, but wait, the king can defend, but we have the follow-up move g6 check. And the black king is forced away. And now we take the rook after we've cleaned up the pawns, we simply slide the king over and white wins. Fascinating stuff, right? So you don't actually take the rook with the pawn with check. It's like the most obvious move in the world and it's not the correct move. The octopus saw this. He said it's a win for white and he demonstrated the following line that I just showed you guys. 
you take here, you play G6, and you win like this. Bobby Fisherman was impressed, and he knew he needed to come up with something more clever to stump the octopus. So he presented the octopus with this second puzzle. So this was a position he presented. He said it's white to play. The pawns are going forward in this direction. Is it a draw or is it a win for white? Now, before I say anything, if you would like to pause, what do you think the answer to that question is? Well, if you had a chance to look at that, this is a very interesting position because um, obviously white's king is kind of stuck here in the corner. But we do have these two passed pawns, which are threatening to become a queen, but black has the bishop. So the first thing that you might have noticed is after g6, the bishop can stop the pawn. All right, so that's great. But now we can play a6. And again, the bishop can go to d4 and stop the pawn. But the problem for black here is that it's oh, the bishop is overworked. It has to stop two pawns, uh, and you can kind of just give up one and get a queen. So let's just say g7. Now the bishop has to go and capture it, and then it opens up this square, and the bishop, of course, can't cover the, the light square, and you're guaranteed to get a queen. So this looks pretty nice, like, okay, well, surely white must be able to win, right? Because now you have a queen. But watch what black does. Bishop to f2, and look at this position very carefully. The bishop is controlling this square. The pawn is controlling this square. The king is totally stuck in the corner, and this pawn can't move as well. So all you have is a queen, but your king is stuck. Now, if you would like to pause, think through this position, and do you think there's any way that white can win, or do you think it's a draw? All right, well, if you had a chance to look at that, let me explain to you what the octopus thought from this position. He looked at it for a long time, thought very hard, and, it fi and finally he said, it's a draw, and here's why. If you ever tried to come down here and well like i mentioned the king can't move the pawn can't move and these are defended and if you ever try to come down here and let's just say take the bishop sacrificing your queen you'll lose because this pawn now becomes a queen you can't stop it with your king you can't go there you can do this and the black just gets a queen the other option would be if you sacrifice your queen for the pawn but then the bishop takes and of course this is a draw black can just sit there with the bishop or sacrifice it for the pawn later whatever it's a draw and the octopus said, there's no way to make progress because you can't do anything else. This is all you have. And these are just defended. And he was feeling confident about that answer. And Bobby Fisherman said, you are wrong. And here is why. So uh, there's a very interesting idea for white. And it goes like this. Queen to a3. And you're going to slowly but surely bring the queen closer and force black to do something interesting. So watch this. First of all, the king doesn't want to stay too close, or this can happen. Queen to c3, uh, cut him off here, and eventually you get this position, check, only move for black is to block, and then check, checkmate. Okay? So that's kind of a little trap that black has to be careful of. However, black can safely avoid that, going back here, by not running the king this way, but running away, and just saying, you know what? I don't even need to be here. This is already defended, right? Everything's defended. I'm just going to run away so I don't fall into any trouble. So the king goes over here, and it just kind of runs to the other corner. But watch what white can do. Queen to e2, queen to d2, queen to c2, and we have essentially stalemated the king in the corner, and our king is also stalemated over here, but black has a bishop, so it's not a stalemate. They can move the bishop somewhere and here is the problem there's nowhere good to move the bishop there's no good moves for the bishop so watch this um if you move to g1 of course we don't take it right away or that would be a stalemate but we can throw in a check and then take it and we win so black doesn't want to go there if you go here there's this little fork check and we just take it and we win if you go here there's a fork check and we win are you guys seeing the pattern if you go did i do this one already bishop d4 that there's a another fork we take the bishop if you go here we take the bishop if you go here we go check and then we go check and we take the bishop and if you go here we go check and we take the bishop so we force black into a zugzwang position where anywhere that they move the bishop is bad 
Like if you could just leave it there, you would be totally fine if you're black, but you can't, and therefore you lose the game. The octopus was stunned, but realized he had been defeated. And with that, Bobby Fisherman advanced to the next round of the competition and his next opponent, which we will see next time. As always, thanks for watching. Stay sharp, play smart, and take care.